everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Annie I hope you all are doing good so in today's video I'm going to let you know all the possible mistakes which we end up making while shopping online I was somebody who used to love going to the malls for shopping but then it's been like four to five years that I have shopped all online and it's been ages since I stepped into the mall for any kind of bulk shopping which I used to do earlier so I just thought let me just list down all the possible points which I keep in mind while shopping online and if that could help you guys out there then it'll be great and all the points which I'm gonna share in this video will save you from all the hassles of exchange return and a lot of time waste which happens during the online shopping so without further ado let's just get on to the video So yesterday while preparing notes for this video what I did was I added few items in my cart like top bottom kurtis and footwear so that I can make list of all the points which I by default follow while shopping online and doing that I have come across some 8 points which I'm gonna share now. So the first point is learn from others mistake. Yes, with that what I mean is make sure that you take your time, go ahead and check the reviews, ratings and the customer images before you add your favorite product in the cart. And with reviews, I just don't mean all the positive ones. Make sure that you read a lot of negative reviews which are given there because mostly the negative reviews are very much in detail and that will help you to know better that whether that particular flaw in the product is a big problem for you or you can manage with that compared to the other products of similar types from other brands. The other customers out there have written those reviews and uploaded their pictures so that people like us can make better decisions while choosing the product and adding it in the cart. And the images of the product might not be always relevant reliable like uh, the kurtis and the tops which we see those images are usually tweaked the lightings are different and also like I have done boutique shoots earlier so I know the fact that when the outfit is not fitting you well we usually tend to uh, add the clips at the back so that it looks well fitted so it's not necessary the way the images are shown in the product could be the one you can rely on but definitely the images which are uploaded by the customer will definitely be genuine because those are not going to be altered much and it's not going to be tweaked like how it is uploaded in the product images and if the products are not having any reviews and ratings if you know the brand and you have already tried the product in the past then okay otherwise without ratings and reviews I don't think it's wise to invest your time in that and getting it and trying it out and then getting into the exchange and return hassle because uh, not necessary that all the new products which are there in Amazon or Mintra or Ajio are going to be the reliable one because all these apps are marketplace and under them there are multiple brands and it's not necessary that all the products from Amazon or all the products from Mintra are going to be great because the other products were good it all depends on the particular brands which you are getting it from for the new launches and the product without ratings and reviews if you still want to try it then I would suggest that go ahead and do it only if the return policies of that particular website is convenient and also when it comes to reviews it's not necessary that all the positive reviews are going to be the genuine ones because I think there would be a team of people who will be sitting and doing the work of updating the reviews there and those could be the fake ones so don't get blinded by the reviews which are like good products the small ones go ahead and read the detailed review of the positive and also the negative ones because that is only going to help you to decide better before we move on to the next point let me tell you that my next video is going to be about online shopping hacks where I'll be sharing some tips and tricks which has personally helped me and it will also help you to save some money of yours so if you are interested to know about that as well then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell icon because only when you hit the bell icon you will get notified about my next video so the second point is check the size dimension and measurement of the product be it tops or bottom or footwear or handbag so when it comes to handbag there is dimensions which is mentioned in the description make sure that you go and read that and with the help of an inch tape or a scale which you have at home you will get a rough idea of how big or small the product is going to be because what happens is when it comes to handbags and sling bags the zoomed images does confuse us and it makes us feel that the product is quite big but it becomes very difficult to figure out what the actual size of the product is by looking at the images but if there is an image where the model is carrying the handbag or the sling bag then not a problem because that will help you to know what exactly 
increase the size of the product based on the height of the model but in the absence of the images like that i would suggest that read the dimension use the inch tape and that will help you to get a rough idea of the size of the product so now let's talk about footwear so when it comes to footwear it's important that you should know what your euro size is like my footwear euro size is euro 38 so i know that whenever i have to shop online i have to go ahead and buy that particular size but then if even euro size is not mentioned and sometimes uk size is mentioned in footwear then in size chart itself they will be giving what is the equivalent uk size of that particular euro size like there is a proper size chart with uk size and euro size together so that helps me to decide better but then if you don't know what your euro size is then i would suggest take an inch tape measure the length of your foot and in google you have the size chart tables where whatever is the inches and centimeters for that particular number what equivalent euro size it would be i'll attach the image from the google so that itself will help you to decide better and know what is your euro size and when it comes to footwear purchase make sure that you again go and read the reviews there because if it's not going to be a brand which you know already or tried it or if it's going to be something which is not of a great quality then you might end up getting a footwear with a slippery base which is not safe and even while walking i think it's most embarrassing when our footwear randomly breaks off and we have to limp on the road so if you want to avoid all that make sure that you read the reviews and also you buy only those footwear brands which you know are comfortable and you have tried in the past or if the written policies are convenient then not a problem you can experiment and return it back if it's not good so now let's talk about tops and kurti so when it comes to their size chart remember that if s size usually fits you it's not necessary that all the brands s size will have same measurement so it's important that in the size chart you go and check what is the measurement first and based on that you decide the size in that particular outfit so when it comes to casual tops t-shirts and long tops i usually decide my size based on the waist size which is mentioned in the size chart why because what happens is i usually have little tummy so i want the tummy area to be a little bit relaxed and i don't want to get into unnecessary being conscious and i don't find it much elegant when the outfit is too tight around the waist if you don't have a flat tummy so what i usually prefer is i order a size bigger or i just check whatever is my present waist measurement based on that in the size chart whatever is the waist measurement matching to mine whatever is the size equivalent to that i order based on that so even if I have to end up ordering one size bigger because of the waist measurements, it really doesn't look that awkward because around the waist area is quite comfortable and even if it's little loose from the top section, it's absolutely fine. I just tug in the t-shirt or the top and it does look good. So when it comes to ordering the kurtis, we usually decide our size based on the waist and the bust measurement which is fine but if you are a pure shaped body like if you have heavy thighs and hip area then I would suggest that you also check the hip size if it's mentioned in that particular product because what happens is I've noticed that sometimes in kurti the top section is well fitted but around the waist area and the hip area it's little tight so if you want to avoid that being a pure shaped body then I would suggest that if the hip measurements are mentioned do take that also into the consideration if you don't know your size then better get an inch tape for yourself that will help you to order online in a better way because if you end up ordering the wrong size and if it's too tight then no matter how good your inners are definitely the panty line or the bra line does show up so when it comes to crop top bralette and the elastin material kind of short tops i would suggest that you consider the bust size only and order the exact size because when it comes to elastin material it's anyway is going to fit well and it's going to be stretchable also and also another thing is you don't have to worry about the tummy measurements because anyways it will be a short top so all it has to fit well is the top section so just consider your bust size while ordering the short top crop top or the bralettes so when it comes to ordering the lowers it's important that you not just check the waist size but you also check the hip size because what happens is it gets very annoying when you uh, get stuck in a jean just because it was based on your waist size but it's not fitting around your hip size especially if you are a pure ship body then consider hip size as the first preference and even if you have to end up ordering one size bigger because of the hip measurements it's absolutely fine around the waist area it might be a little loose but you can always get it altered and it will be fine for you is just that it's going to be very much comfortable around the thigh area for you and that will fix your problem. 
and when it comes to ordering the jeans don't forget to read the description part where the fabric composition is mentioned because if they have mentioned that it's stretchable then you can always manage and order the size accordingly and if it's not of much of a stretchable and elastic material then don't forget to take the hip measurements also into consideration so now let's talk about trousers palazzos and taper skirts like those pencil skirts so when it comes to ordering them don't just consider the waist size alone why because the material of those particular products are little thin it's not like as thick as jean so you wouldn't want it to be well fitted because otherwise the panty line will end up showing so ordering one size bigger will definitely save us from any sorts of discomfort especially because it will give us extra material around the hip area and i feel that is what looks elegant too and even if the waist size is little big it's absolutely fine you can get it altered in trousers we have an exception that you would have seen that some trousers have their pleated designs on the hip area and in that case you can order the trouser based on your waist size because anyways the pleats will be giving that extra material and comfort around the hip area if the pleats are not there only then order based on the hip size or order one size bigger So the third point is don't forget to check the seller and whom it is fulfilled by like when it comes to Amazon you would definitely see that in the description it is mentioned that it is sold by this particular seller and it is fulfilled by Amazon or it's delivered by Amazon okay so what it means is that when it's fulfilled by Amazon as i mentioned that Amazon Myntras are like a marketplace and a lot of brands are under them so what happens is when it's mentioned that sold by ABC and fulfilled by Amazon it it means that it's of that particular brand and amazon is the one who is packing it and sending it to your address okay so in that case i can still feel that is going to be little reliable because amazon is the team who is packing it but if it's mentioned as sold by abc and delivered by amazon it means that the particular brand has just already packed it given to amazon and amazon is just doing a courier service for you wherein it will just directly come to you so i'm not sure how much reliable such products are going to be because it's directly coming from the seller but if it's fulfilled by amazon then i feel that it will be comparatively more reliable Now the fourth point is don't forget to check the fabric composition and it means that you have to go to the description part and check what the material is made of it could be polyester georgette creep or elastin or rayon so whatever is the material you should know what particular material you are ordering because maybe it could be the case that in the past you ordered a particular material like say for example rayon and you really didn't like that kind of material then you wouldn't want similar material with you again in future so in such case i would just suggest that make it a habit of reading the material so that you know what you're ordering and if you don't like something of that sort then you can avoid ordering it next time and also if in the fabric composition elastin word is there it means that it will be a little stretchable so even if your measurements are not up to the mark even then the product might fit you but if it's other material like rayon georgette and all it will not be stretchable so you have to order the exact size of yours and also don't forget to zoom the images and see the material because sometimes it does show up if the material is very thin and sheer it shows when you zoom the image and based on that you can decide because if you really don't want any material to be that sheer then you can skip ordering that product itself so the fifth point is don't forget to check what the model is wearing especially in mintra they clearly mention what is the height of the model and what size she is wearing so that helps as a very good reference point for us to decide whether it will fit us or not because if the model's physique is more or less similar to yours then you can always go ahead and order the same size or you can choose to order one size lesser or one size bigger also remember that the models who are wearing those dresses they are usually 5 8 or above like they are usually taller than the average customers okay so if uh, the model is wearing a short dress and it's above knee area for her and she is of 5 8 height and your height for example is 5 3 then remember that the dress will not be above the knee for you because it will be 4 5 inches extra it will come below knee because the height mismatch is there so you know how long the dress would be so just consider the length measurements that will definitely help you to decide better so the sixth point is before adding the product to the cart don't forget to check whether the same product and the brand is available on different platforms or even on company's website because if it's there then you can always go ahead and check whether it's available for better offer or price there and also you'll know whether there are different colors available on different website so for this what you can do is you can just copy paste the description of the product and just do a google search that will help you to know where and all that same product is available and for what all prices because i have personally seen that i had ordered one jewel galaxy 
like sees earring set and it was in uh, amazon for some 350 rupees and the same product was available on nika for some 450 500 rupees likewise even the sarees which are there on amazon are there for different price comparatively lower and the same sarees are there on mintra for a higher price so checking whether the same product is available on different platforms will help you save a lot of money and checking the product on different platform has one more benefit that sometimes the not so trending colors are usually available for lower prices on different website so what you can do is if the color is not a major concern for you and for you the design and the pattern matters then you can get the same top for much lower price the seventh point is know the differences in the size between the foreign brands and the Indian brands like for example when you're ordering from a foreign brand the small size mentioned there will definitely have different measurements compared to when you're ordering from an Indian brand for the same S size okay because Indian bodies are a lot more curvier for example the S size of an Indian brand will be having 28 as waist measurement but when it comes to foreign brand it could have the waist measurement for small size as uh, 26 also so just remember that you don't go by the size S, M, L, XL but you go by the measurements there because we have seen a lot of cases that different brands have different measurements for the same small size or medium size. So the eighth and the last point is don't forget to check the written policies of the product which you're ordering whether you're ordering from company's own website or you're ordering from different platforms like Mintra, Aji or Amazon because what happens is certain category of products have different written policies so you must know that before ordering the products itself. And also one more thing is when it comes to brand's own website the written policies are not that convenient and flexible as is there in Mintra and Amazon. So if you keep all these points in mind it will help you to save a lot of time, money and effort of yours and at the same time it will save you from unnecessary troubles related to return and exchange especially if you have time constraint issues going on when ordering that product online so that is it we have come to the end of this video i really hope you found this video useful and informative and if you did then please take a moment to subscribe and also hit the bell icon so that whenever my next video is up on the channel you get notified about the same and if you want to follow me on my instagram then my instagram handle is somewhere here i'll see you guys soon in the next video until then take care bye